Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showcasing Aquaculture or Aquaculture 2, however you want to call it. So this mod is for Minecraft 1.7 to 1.15.2. So I didn't mention it in this video, but the fishes are biome dependent. So yeah, so make sure to like if you're excited to jump into it. So in this mod, you can either fish for fish or you can actually find them in the wild, just like this. So to actually fish for fish, you could use the regular fishing rod, but you won't get lots of loot and fishes by using that. So you should start by making one of these three fishing rods. So you can either make the iron fishing rod, the golden fishing rod, and the diamond fishing rod. So the iron one is made with two iron, a stick, and two string. The golden one is made the same thing, but replace the iron with gold. The diamond, the same, and replace with diamond. So when you've got one of the fishing rods, you could actually go like fishing right now, but to get all the functionalities and everything, you should use a tackle box. So to make a tackle box, you need either algae, green dye, or kelp, five iron ingots, any type of chest, and a block of iron. So when you've made a tackle box, you can right click just like this, you can put your rod in here, and here you can find four different items to place. So we're gonna cover them right now. So the first item you need is a hook, so there's all these different types of hook. So first there's the iron hook which has 20% chance to not use durability. So you need this hook to make all of the other ones. And then there's the gold hook that has increased luck. That's pretty cool. You have the diamond hook which has 50% chance to not use durability. You have the light hook that casts further. The heavy hook that casts shorter. The double hook that has a chance to catch two things. The redstone hook that increases how long you have to reel in a fish. The note hook plays an alert when a fish is approaching. That's pretty nice. And the nether star hook that has 50% chance to not use durability and increase luck. So it's like these two together. So to make an iron hook, you need four iron nuggets. To make a gold hook, you need the iron hook and four golden nuggets surrounded by it. Then with the diamond hook, you need four diamonds and uh, iron hook. Light hook, you make it like this. The heavy hook, you make it like so. The double hook, you need two iron hooks. The redstone hook, you need four redstone dust and one iron hook. The note hook, you need a note block and the hook. And the nether star hook, you need a nether star and a diamond hook. So when you've got the hook, the next item you need is a bait. You can either choose leech, a minnow, or a worm. So I'm gonna choose the worm, and you can actually farm these worm, like just like a composter in Minecraft. You can right click on the um, thing with seed, just like this. And when it's full, you can right click with your fist. And then you can like spam and get worm. So actually this like worm composter, it's called a worm farm. And to make it, you need four fences, a dirt, and three plank. And when you've got the bait, you can actually customize your barber and fishing line. So here you can see like the barber will always be red and white and that's boring. And the fishing line always black. So here we can customize these. Just like leather armor, you put the dye with the item in the crafting table. So the fishing line I'll make it white, the barber I'll make it black. So when you've got these four items, you can place the fishing rod and then you can put the hook, the bait, the barber and the fishing line. And you can just stick this, it will say gold hook. And then you can go fishing. You can see the gold hook and the black barber and the white line, which is actually really amazing. So in terms of what you can get by fishing, these are all the items you can get. So you can get all these different types of fishes and these miscellaneous items. All the fishes can be cut with a water bucket to make an aquarium or something. So in this mod, you can make fish fillet with knives and fish. So to make a wooden fillet knife, you need two planks, one stick, stone, cobblestone and stick, iron, stick, gold, the same thing, and diamond. So when you have a knife and fishes, you can actually put the fish here and it will give you raw fish fillet. So the number of fish fillet you get depends on the fish you're like cutting. So the catfish gives six. So with the raw fish fillet, you can either make it into cooked fish fillet, just like this, or you can make sushi, which is like so cool. Look at this sushi you can make actually with seagrass. So with the driftwood, you can make four oak planks. With the tin can, you can smelt it to get an iron nugget, seven of them. You can catch boxes, which give you like random rubbish, not pretty cool. So you can also catch lock box, which give you like a miscellaneous item. It's already better than the box. And the best chest that you can get is the treasure chest. This will give you like treasure, yeah, which is pretty cool. And then you can find message in a bottle. This will just like give you some sentence in your chat. 
these two fishes won't give you fillet. The brown shruma will give you five brown mushroom apiece. The red one will give red mushroom. With the frog, what you can make is frog legs. You put it in a crafting table and if you smelt it, it will give you cooked frog legs, which you can eat. Then you have jellyfish. What you can do with that is smelt and get slime balls. With a box turtle or any type of turtle, you can make turtle soup, just like this. With goldfish, you can make gold nugget. And you can also make fish mounts. How you make this is an iron hook, oak buttons for the oak fish mount, then like spruce button for the spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, and dark oak. And the fish mounts look like this. Here I put like black fish, see the name on top of the fish, and you can put them around your house in Minecraft. So that brings us to the loot you can fish. So there's this new mineral called Neptunium. So these tools and armor you have to fish and find this neptune's bounty and in this there's nothing because I've, I've not fished i've taken it from creative and what you'll find inside is some of these items and armor or minerals so these are all the tools that you can get so the neptunium pickaxe is usable without speed penalty underwater as well as the shovel the pickaxe is made with three neptunium ingots and two sticks the neptunium shovel with one neptunium ingot and two sticks the neptunium axe increases damage against enemies in underwater but it's actually really cool on ground as well because it's like 15 attack damage with the neptunium hoe the farmland that you tile will stay moist they won't get dry so the neptunium hoe is made with two neptunium ingot two sticks the neptunium axe is made with three ingots and two sticks the neptunium sword is made with two neptunium ingot and a stick and what this does is that it increases damage against enemies underwater and does at 10 attack damage on ground the neptunium bow makes arrows go smoothly through water and you make this with three strings and three neptunium ingot neptunium fishing rod which makes fish more likely to bite this is made with two neptunium ingots, two strings, and one stick. So regarding the armor, the helmet improves your underwater vision. The chest weight allows you to breathe underwater. The leggings makes you weightless underwater. The neptunium boots increases your swim speed. So the helmet you make with five neptunium ingots. The chest weight you can make with eight neptunium ingots. The leggings with seven, the boots with four. So that is going to be it for this video, so make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.